What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, we've got a breakthrough on mining Nexa thanks to LOL Miner version 1.66. Now before we get into the video, do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe. If you appreciate getting this content faster than any other content creator, you know who's bringing it to you. Hit that like and hit the subscribe. So let's take a look at HiveOS real quick. And I want to give you guys just a sneak peek at some of the hash rates before we get into talking about this. So this is a rig with all 3070 TIs. I'm running the exact same overclocks that I was using on Wild Rig and BZ Miner for Nexa. Now our wattage has increased a little bit compared to the previous miners, but so is our hash rate by an incredible amount that we're going to get into. Now I haven't verified this on the pool side. Uh, we're going to do some lengthy tests to let you guys know how it looks on the pool. But for right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the flight sheet. So this is currently in beta, and so you're going to have to run a custom miner in your flight sheet. However, if you're watching this much further in the future, there's a good chance that it's been added to Hive OS, and you don't have to go through these extra steps. So taking a look at our flight sheet here we've got nexa as the coin we've got our wallet selected for pool we're going to do configure in minor and then for the minor we're simply going to type in custom and then you will see custom as an option once you have selected custom you're going to go into setup minor config you're going to name this whatever you prefer doesn't really matter but this is really what matters the installation url which i will leave in the description below as well as in the comments then you're going to pick nexapow as the algorithm i just simply use the worker template for my wallet and worker name and then of course whatever stratum that you want to use to mine to now currently i am solo mining to viper pool so once you have made these changes you're just going to create that flight sheet and launch it now, once you've launched it, I would recommend running the stop command and then applying your NVTool overclocks. And this is what I'm using on all my 30 series GPUs across the board. I know that there are some more dialed in overclocks to use, but for the sake of getting this out to you guys as quickly as possible, I'm using NVTool set core offset at 265, set memory at 5001, and set core clock at 1515. And so far, it's yielded some pretty good results, but I wanted to compare to the rest of the miners, such as Wild Rig and BZ Miner, and I wanted to make sure we're using the exact same overclocks on all of them so we get a good idea as to how they perform against one another. So if you've watched a previous video with Wild Rig versus BZ Miner, this was back when BZ Miner was a beta. And we did get a pretty substantial increase in hash rate as well as efficiency. And you can see the total efficiency increase on each GPU as well as the entire farm. But LOL Miner continues to amaze me. Look at this. So at 3060 Ti, we jumped from 32.5 mega hash to 43.5 mega hash. A 3070 jump from 39 mega hash to 51, almost 52 mega hash. 3070 Ti jumped from 40 to 53, and then a 3080 from 57 to 77, and then a 3080 from 66 mega hash all the way up to 90. Now I don't have any 3090s, 3090 Ti's, or any of the 4000 series, but uh, if you guys have those, please leave some comments down below. And then take a look at the efficiency change. Just from BZ Miner to LOL Miner, we're looking at an increase of over 20%, and in some cases, almost 30% on every GPU for an average of about 20% increase over the entire farm. Now, what's bringing this number down is actually uh, an AMD rig that I have, which is Coruscant, and this is currently not running the newest version of LOL Miner. I had some issues with it, and I just wanted to get this video out as quickly as possible. But we'll take a look at that. Hopefully it's not just for NVIDIA cards. Anyway, so that's it as far as installing this, running this on Hive OS. Stay tuned for just a moment, and I'm going to get ready and show you guys how to install this on Windows. Be right back. Okay, guys, so 
What you're going to need to do to get this installed in Windows is you're going to want to pull up the GitHub and I will leave a link in the description below. And what you're looking for is the Windows version here. But before you download this, there's something important you need to do. Most of you guys are probably already familiar with this process, but just in case, you need to go into your settings. You need to go to Windows and Security. Then you're going to select Windows Security. Select Virus and Threat Protection. And you need to disable real-time protection. This is only temporary. And I highly recommend that you only download this from GitHub or a secure site that you know does not have any malicious software built into it. So now that you've done that, now you can go back to your browser. And we're going to download the Windows version. And now we're going to show this location. We're going to right click and we're going to cut it. I'm going to right click. We're going to create a new folder and we're going to name it LOL minor version 1.66. We're going to go into that folder and we are going to paste. And then we're going to right click it and we're going to extract here. So now we're going to go in here and these are all of the different miners within LOL minor. We're specifically looking for Nexa is right here so we're going to right click that we're going to select edit and here is where you're going to change things like your wallet address to the correct wallet address or your wallet address uh, and then of course you want to change your pool as well and pools right above here so you just delete that and put in the correct stratum so Let's go ahead and do that. I think I have another bat file already opened up here. Yeah, there we go. So let's grab our Nexa wallet first. And then let's grab our stratum. And you could also add your overclocks in here as well. Now I'm just going to go ahead and save this. So we're going to hit save as. Very important that you make sure .bat is at the end of the file. You're going to change this to all files. And you can rename this whatever you want to. I'm just going to name it copy. And then we're going to save. And let's go ahead and minimize all these windows real quick. And we're going to stop this miner. And now we're going to go back and launch this bat file. Run as administrator. And you want to allow. So we want to make sure this works. Once we know that it's working, then we're going to create some file exclusions as well as a folder exclusion. Okay, so we know we're working. I don't have any overclock set, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. And now we're going to go back into settings. And we're going to go back to virus and threat protection. I'll scroll down just a little ways here. Manage settings. And then we're going to go to add or remove. I'm going to add an exclusion. And we're going to do a file first. So let's back up here. Let's find the correct file. So LOL. And we're looking for the copy. So we're going to select the copy. Hit open. So now we've added an exclusion for that file. Let's go ahead and add an exclusion for the entire folder. So that folder. Select. And there you go. Now once you're done with that. It is imperative that you go back in here and you turn on real-time protection again. You do not want to leave yourself vulnerable, so be sure you enable that. Awesome. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Now, do me a favor. 
I am probably one of the first bringing you this, and this is a massive update if you are a mining nexus, so please do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe. I'll keep bringing you this awesome content, and I'll see you guys on the next one.